sat out last night in Cleveland. Mike Wilbon, when I saw LeBron James walk to that bench looking sad for the third time in the last four years, a part of you felt sorry for him. Part of you looked at the deplorable effort put forth by the Cleveland Cavaliers in game four on Friday night. Another part of you said, my man, when you pick your next team, Gotta you got it. Right. You can't go through this again. What were your thoughts? Uh, pretty much the same thing. I think it was 403 left in the game. He goes, how about that? 403 for garbage time in the game in Cleveland. Yes. Four minutes. Yes. And LeBron sort of dapped up everybody on both teams, right. showed the respect he has for world-class players and competitors and peers. And he just went to the bench, and you're like, wow, what now? What is he thinking? And, and clearly, I agree with you, it has to deal with what he's going to do next. And I don't think there's any perfect scenario out there, Stephen. No. There might have been in 2010 when he went to Miami and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh were beckoning mm -hmm. two all-stars in their prime and right. Pat Riley, the boss. Right. And it was when he came back home. But now, he, this is nuanced. This is difficult. There's no perfect fit. It has to be about defined happiness. And what I mean by that is you got to make a decision. Is your family, your quality of life, does that take precedent over the next few years? Or does losing to the same team three times in the last four years ache so much that now you become fixated on dethroning them so they're not laughing and enjoying themselves in front of your face to end your season? And to me, when I look at it from that perspective, I'm thinking about Harden and CP3 and saying, can Houston get him? I'm thinking about Boston. I ain't thinking about anybody else. What I'm about thinking you? about the Lakers. Because I think they already have a better cast than Cleveland did. When you talk about young guys like Ingram and Kuzma and, yes, But Ball, not better than Houston. But not better. But suppose he takes CP3 as his other max player in a Laker uniform. You or, think Chris wouldn't go back to Los or, Angeles? That is true. That is true. Even though he don't like the taxes, but he does love the weather. <laughs> the flip side to it is that what if you get him? And Paul George oh, comes with him, and the Lakers, Magic Johnson, is able to pull off a heist and get Kawhi Leonard from San Antonio. But that's a lot, Mike. That's a lot. But even with just those two, Stephen, I think nothing lasts forever. Not even the Golden State Warriors. Their injuries, their defections, their dissatisfaction, even though it doesn't seem to touch these guys. Mm -hmm. But LeBron James is going to have to really examine all of the things on a big yellow legal pad he wants to do and figure out where in that pecking order winning another championship comes. I'm totally with you until I saw the man walk into the bench. He looks so depressed and at the expense, I mean, them laughing in his face, basically. He's got to be sick of that. I know you are. I know I am. I know SportsCenter is too, but they'll talk about it anyway. Back to y'all. Yeah, we will. Pretty predictable, huh? Wear this thing out. Uh, here are the max contract options for LeBron this summer. Obviously, he will be paid more money for more years if he sticks in Cleveland 5 and 205. The only thing other teams can offer him is four years at $152 million. Not bad, but not as much. So we'll see how much that factors into it. So many factors in LeBron James' next decision.